Sean here from Spots Music Center, spotsmusic.com. I'm here to talk to you, do a little video review on something that I use often, the PV. 14 AT. Today I have the 10 AT here for visual reference. Same functionality as the 14 that I use. And I've been using this guy for probably a couple years now with a lot of success. I really enjoy this thing. All right, so going down through some of the functionality, some of the things that I really like about this board. At the top of the channel, you'll notice that there is a, an XLR or quarter inch line. So that gives you options in that regard. You Next thing down the board is the auto tune button. The auto tune button, um, definitely works. Uh, you have a little bit of control over that in the uh, effects section. You will hit the auto tune button and then it has a, I believe a zero to 25 scale on how heavy that effect is actually being applied to what you're doing. I run it pretty light whenever I use it, but because uh, I don't want to sound like T-Pain, but if that's the goal, run that thing hot and I'm pretty sure you can get close. <laughs> Where I run it is just very subtle, just to, to kind of feather it and smooth out the voice a little bit. Right down from the auto-tune, you've got a high-pass filter. I use this on my vocal channels. Whenever you run that high-pass filter, it eats up a lot of those feedback frequencies that you get a lot with the vocal line. Then it's got the compressor line. It's got a couple channels of compression. The compression, awesome for vocals, awesome for acoustic guitar. Anything that's got a lot of dynamic fluctuation to it, the compressor will help you smooth that out so I definitely use that to to some degree I don't use it on max by any means I use it um, subtly as well every little subtle difference makes a difference in the overall sound got an EQ bypass button if you'd like to quickly uh, gauge where you're at versus where your reference point is where it's you know baseline is the aux line you can use for monitors one of the few drawbacks I have about this board is that it only has one auxiliary line but if you only need one monitor mix or or one aux send does great ultimately it wasn't a make or break for me it's got an effects line that will help control how much effects are being sent from the built-in effects i usually use the vocal reverb effects or the uh, acoustic reverb effects and you can choose how much of that balance is being sent to your main mix and your monitor mix your aux mix it's got channel mutes which i like for uh taking breaks it's got solo lines you can use the solo lines for meter reference see how hot you're running and helps you set your gain individually on each channel I think that's one of the more important steps moving on to some of the other functions here I use this uh, Bluetooth function Bluetooth function is definitely one of the more useful parts of this board whenever I'm on break I can just sync my phone up to it push play on some songs, I can walk around, talk to people in the establishment that I'm playing in, and I can still have control over the music no matter where I'm at in the building. One of my favorite things about this board easily for the DJing is this Cosmos button. It gives you a low and a high control. The highs, it sounds like it's just taking a blanket off of your speakers. It's definitely cleaning you up a great deal. The low knob control, this just adds thump, and I mean thump. It sounds amazing. You engage that button and watch your sound just come to life. It's amazing. Lastly, I will speak to the durability of this unit. I have dropped this thing probably four times hard, probably a few times not as hard. It just keeps going. I have experienced no problems from any of the falls that it's taken, and I think that is probably the most important takeaway from this is that this thing is durable. So if you're looking for a versatile board that can cover your band needs, that can cover your DJ needs really well, that can hold up over time, the built-in effects sound pretty decent, uh, the Cosmos system sounds amazing, the auto-tune feature is super neat, and if you have any questions about the PV-10AT or the PV-14AT, drop some comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button, keep in tune, we were doing all sorts of new videos. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day.